This week, we've got an incredible episode for you. This project has been a long time in coming. In fact, it's a big one, and it might take two episodes. It's one of our biggest DIY projects to date, and we're tackling it for our good friend Shane. Shane's worked for my company for a long time. He's been one of the main producers of our other television series, and as far as I'm concerned, I owe him a lot more than the effort I'm gonna put out on this project. It's gonna give me a chance to bring over a lot more equipment than we usually use on a project, but we're gonna transform the lot that is behind his house into a more usable space. We're gonna get rid of a lot of old trees, some old stumps, and a lot of stuff that's gonna open up the slate and allow him to use his space better. So to describe this project to you, we're gonna start over here on the east side of the line. Going down the east side, there's a number of old stumps and some old railroad ties. There's an old concrete chunk over here. And as we move to the back corner, there's a couple more little stumps and stuff in the ground that need to be removed. What I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna come over with our small mini excavator. It's a Bobcat E45. It's a little bit bigger than the Bretto equipment we normally use, but sometimes you gotta break out the big guns in order to get the project done. And that machine will take care of some of this stuff very quickly. I'm gonna be able to pluck these little tree stumps out of the ground, get them in the back of a dump trailer and ready to go to the landfill. Then I'll go down, I'll pull the concrete uh, chunk out of the ground. I'm gonna be able to move an old stump that's no longer actually connected into the ground and get to pull some of these uh, smaller posts and stuff that were put in the ground for some reason many years ago. Then I'm gonna go over here and you'll see these trees in the background. They're pretty tall, but they're skinny. I can manage those. We're gonna go ahead and use the excavator to lean them, cut them, maybe even pull them all the way out of the ground. We won't know till we get started. But once those trees are on the ground, we're gonna cut them into more manageable pieces. And anything seven inches and smaller, we're gonna feed it through the Beretto seven inch chipper. We're gonna turn them into sawdust or small chips, and we're gonna shoot those into the back of the dump trailer. We're gonna create a compost pile right there because Shane really wants some good compost and some chips that he can use in some of the rehab of the backyard when we're done. Then the bigger pieces, like that main stem right there, we're gonna cut them into some firewood chunks. He's got a neighbor that would like to use some of that in his wood stove. Hey, we're more than happy to multi-use this stuff. We're gonna put it to good use and make sure that it can do some good and heat his house this coming winter. It's not ideal firewood in those trees, but it's better than nothing. Then as we move over here, you see these great big elm trees. There's two of them there. Now, this is a DIY project. I'm gonna DIY as much of this as I possibly can, but the reality is that there's times when you gotta call in the professionals. We contact the local tree service to come in and use their big bucket truck and their big chipper, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna take the tops out of these trees. To save some money, they're gonna leave me about 10 to 12 foot of the stump uh, standing, and I'll actually fall those and cut those up into more firewood for the neighbor. But hey, I'm dealing with fence lines, I'm dealing with neighbor's yards. I cannot safely and properly top that tree with the equipment I have, so I do need to call in professionals to take care of that part of it. But I'm gonna have them leave me as much as possible so I can save as much money as possible and DIY as much of this project as possible. But we'll have them leave their tops over here. And as we move over, there's one more smaller tree. That tree I can handle. I'll use the chainsaw to cut it down into more manageable pieces, seven inches and under through the chipper. Anything larger goes to firewood. Then there's an old apricot tree here. Now we're having some debate over how to handle that. We'll probably chip all the small stuff, but the bigger stuff, we're probably gonna maybe bring some smoker wood home. We're gonna bring the Beretto mini skid steer over here, a great tool. We've got a grapple that'll pick up the logs and move some things around. We're also gonna bring over some other attachments that may come in handy as the project evolves. We might need to till. Uh, we might need to do some you know, additional work. Also, those bigger trees are gonna have a pretty good stump and they're gonna be hard and they're gonna be big. Especially one of them is gonna be fairly good size. So we're gonna bring over a stump grinder, the Bretto SG37. When I'm dealing with elm and a good hardwood, I want an absolutely badass stump grinder to not just grind that stump down, but get a foot deep and we'll put some material back over the top of it. As we swoop around here, there's another post. There's an old set of grapevines that are dead now. We're gonna rip all of that stuff out. We're gonna put them in the dump trailer. Any excess garbage or anything like that that's in the backyard will go to the landfill. But more than anything, when we're done, our goal is to give Shane and his wife a beautiful cleaned up backyard and a clean slate. 
to start all of their DIY projects after that, whether it be gardens, RV parking, whatever it might be, we're gonna build it out for them and we're happy to share this adventure with you. So let's get started. If you're enjoying this video, please click like and subscribe to see more of Build It Better DIY. On this project, I called in some friends. Mike is an experienced chainsaw operator, and while he cut the tree limbs into smaller pieces, our other friend Jay fed them into the powerful Toretto 7-inch chipper and reduced the pile into mulch. The first day was spent getting equipment on site and just getting started. We knew that this would be a two-day project, but before I called it a day, I walked the Bredo 37SG stump grinder over to some ancient locust tree stumps that had been in the way for over 30 years and reduced them to dust. As you can see, this is a big project and we're just getting started. So join us for part two as we tackle this project and introduce a new piece of equipment. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to see more of Build It Better DIY.